So you want to become a hypnotherapist? This is just a quick video to explain what you're going to learn when you buy the Hypnotherapy 101 online training program. So firstly, we're going to be covering hypnosis fundamentals, the basics, the stuff that you need to know to become an effective, competent hypnotherapy practitioner. You're going to learn about the myths and misconceptions that people have about hypnosis, a little bit about the history of hypnosis and some key terminology such as hypnosis, hypnotherapy, hypnotist, hypnagogic states, hypnopompic states, Ooh. Ooh, that kind of thing. <laughs> um, and you'll also be learning about contraindications, why you shouldn't necessarily hypnotize someone, as well as the phenomena that you can achieve with hypnosis, various different things that you can achieve with hypnosis, very, very interesting stuff. Absolutely, and contraindications and other topics are all about working safely. And we are going to explain to you how to work safely, how to work ethically, including how to deal with the rare occurrences of ab reactions and also how to gain consent from your clients, the different types of ways that you can do this. Consent is very important as a ethical hypnotherapy practitioner. Another thing that's important is structuring your hypnotherapy session. It's really good to have structure to your session, so we'll teach you how to do that. We'll teach you how to set up your consultation process, how to get the information from the client that you're going to be working with, because that's very important. You need to know what you're working on in order that you can work on it effectively with your client. On that topic as well, we'll talk you through how to set client goals, because as a solution-focused hypnotherapist, which is the way that we do hypnotherapy, it it's important to have goals that focus on what you want and what the client wants, rather than working on dealing with the problem. Keep it solution focused, set those goals. We'll teach you how to do that in the training video. Absolutely, and part of this process is learning how to prepare yourself to conduct a hypnotherapy session, how to prepare the client most effectively, and how to organize and prepare your environment. And this leads on to a really important part of the therapy process. And that's suggestibility testing. Not all hypnotherapists teach or are taught suggestibility tests, but they're very, very useful. That's very true. And we're going to share with you three different types of suggestibility tests. So you have a choice as to which one you use to suit whichever client you're working with. Yes, and once you've tested the suggestibility of your client and you've set it up that way, it's a really good idea before you learn how to hypnotize to learn how to wake people up. That's true. That's very important. You need to know how to wake them up before you put them into hypnosis. I've got a very interesting story on that further in the video. That'll be there. And after you've learned how to awaken people, then we'll teach you how to hypnotize people. We'll give you three different methods of different speeds and of different delivery styles that you can use to put somebody into a state of hypnosis. We'll also then give you a number of different deepening methods to intensify the state of hypnosis and get your client to a point where they're ready to do therapy work in hypnosis and respond to it as effectively as possible. As well as that, of course, we're giving you methods for dealing with distractions. Now, it might be that you work somewhere that's beautifully quiet, but you never know when someone's going to knock on the door or there'll be voices outside of where you're working. Perhaps a plane flying overhead or traffic nearby. It might even be an occasional siren. Who yeah. knows? A lot, of people, a lot of people think that hypnosis is a fragile state and can be broken if there's noise going on and that kind of stuff. But we teach you how to deal with that kind of thing and the fact that you can do hypnosis and hypnotherapy pretty much anywhere. Absolutely. And talking of how you do hypnotherapy, we're going to share with you three different overarching approaches for hypnotherapy. Behavioral approaches, so dealing with what you do, behaviors. Cognitive approaches, all about beliefs and thoughts. And also analytical approaches, and these are really, really useful approaches for when a client wants to understand why they do something and to get insight. So we're gonna give you various different techniques on those three specific topics. So you've always got something that you can do with a client, depending on what it is that they need to work on. As well as that, we're going to explore with you a fundamental component 
of doing hypnosis. And that's how to deliver effective suggestions, both direct, indirect, and even metaphorical suggestions. It's important that you as a hypnotherapist know how to develop your own suggestions rather than relying on scripts. And sadly, that's what a lot of hypnotherapists, even trained hypnotherapists do, relying on scripts that are already written and have been written by somebody else with a different client in mind. So you wanna learn how to develop your own suggestions that will help you to work with that specific client that you have in front of you. Absolutely, and as well as these particular behavioral, cognitive and analytical approaches, we're also going to share with you how to do some ego strengthening, so how to really set up a client so that they can get the most out of the therapy process and be able to change comfortably and effectively. In addition to that, we're going to share with you how to conduct future pacing, so how to make that transition from knowing how to do something differently to actually doing it differently. This will make a significant impact on the success of your therapy work. It's certainly something that I would do with pretty much all of my clients, getting them set up with future pacing to imagine their future success. So you'll learn how to do that as well. In addition to all of those therapy techniques, various different styles and approaches that you can use across the board, we also teach you how to teach your client self-hypnosis, a very, very important thing that will help a lot of clients move forward beyond the hypnotherapy session. And that forms an integral part of something else that we're going to be teaching you, which is homework. Homework? Oh yes, but not homework for you necessarily. <laughs> homework that you will give to your client because having the client engage in homework makes them an integral part of their own change process and that will make your work as a hypnotherapist a lot more effective. Absolutely. And to make this training program even more effective for you, rather than give you homework right away, we're going to get you to watch a whole therapy session, right from the very start all the way through to the end. This gives you an idea of how to put all the individual little components together in a way that really does reinforce your learning. As well as that demonstration of the full therapy session, throughout the training course you're going to be seeing us demonstrating various different techniques on each other, but as well as that demonstrating them to you so that you get to experience them as a part of your training process. And this is really important because you get then to understand how these things work and what your clients will be experiencing when you do these things with them. So it's really important to know how they work from an experiential point of view as well as actually knowing how to do them. As well as showing you the demonstrations on the videos, you're also going to be receiving a comprehensive course manual that really does complement the videos very well. So that you'll get copies of the scripts, the things that we're saying in the video, so you don't have to take notes. You can simply just have a look at the manual and they're all there ready for you. And all of the information that we cover in the video will also be there and maybe even a little bit more as well. So if you're ready to start your journey towards becoming a successful hypnotherapist and helping other people with hypnosis, this is the course for you. If you have any more questions or if you'd like a little bit more information, first take a look at the information below this video. It covers comprehensively everything that's covered on the course in finer detail. Otherwise, feel free to drop us a line, send us a message, because we're happy to answer any questions that you have. Otherwise, we'll see you on the course.